Thank you. So hello, everyone. My name is Antoine Solwa. Uh, I'm a postdoc at JPL. And uh, this uh, presentation is going to be a bit more technical, maybe, and less, uh, less uh, data oriented. But I thought it was interesting, or it would be interesting for people interested in uh, modeling, maybe following the, the Delta X, uh, the last workshop about modeling. Uh, because um, I'm going to present uh, how to uh, use the tool called uh, Ocean Mesh 2D to generate some optimized mesh uh, in order to improve the model. It, it is a tool that allowed us to make some significant improvements lately. So Ocean Mesh 2D is a mesher. There is several mesher uh, available, but this one particularly is useful for hydrodynamic modeling because uh, it allows some very nice optimizations while remaining very easy to use. And uh, it allows us to, to model uh, domains that have uh, highly complex uh, geometries, such as the ones involved in the Delta X mission. So I'm, uh, this uh, presentation is not tutorial, uh, although you, you can, if you want, uh, try to use the, the same technique and uh, you should be able to run your own uh, mesh uh, with the bit of code that I'm, I'm providing here. So the way it works is that you will input uh, files, uh, the, all the, some of the information that was uh, uh, presented before, such as uh, the domains, um the polygons i mean uh, the dem and you can also add some uh, information about the land the position the location where there is ba uh, basically no water flowing uh, or uh, the river center lines once you gather all this data you can I initialize the mesh meaning uh, providing the, the the tool all the information it needs to run a mesh uh, including the minimum and maximum resolution that you want the mesh to be, uh, the grading of the mesh, because that's the power of, uh, of uh, triangular meshes, is that you can basically tune the resolution where it needs to be finer, you can make it finer, where it needs to be coarser, you can make it coarser. Um, and uh, yeah, you can also uh, provide it with the, the, the Delta T that is used by your model, so you make sure that the the, the mesh is uh, adapted to this uh, to this uh, temporal resolution. Once you get you, you have all of these parameters, uh, you put everything into two different objects that are listed here: GeoData and EdgePix, uh, and you can then uh, generate a mesh using the code that I provided here to the right. So um, it's an iterative process. It first basically spreads random points, more or less according to the, in the parameters you initialize it with, and then it will iterate in order to maximize the quality. So here you have an example of how it works on a little region that, uh, uh, where you can see the Atchafalaya and uh, the Wax Lake uh, domain. So the, the resolution here I put is, uh, I don't think it's 10 meter, but, uh, oh yes, the maximum resolution, the minimum resolution is uh, 10 meters, the maximum, so the coarser uh, are 300 meters. And you can see that all the mesh is basically uh, uh, slowly uh, uh, getting uh, better, basically. Uh, so here, I'm only giving it as input a minimum and a maximum uh, mesh size with the position of uh, land polygons. So it won't mesh the inside of the land, and it will basically prog uh, it will grade the, the mesh uh, so it's coarser offshore and it goes uh, refined it, it refines when you when you go close to the the shore another example of what you can do is use the dm and here i didn't provide it with uh, with uh, land polygons so the mesh would also be inside where the where uh, the the water is not supposed to flow uh, and uh, you can see that the the 
the uh, resolution is depending on the slope. So that's something that's really interesting for our use is that we can make the, the, the mesh finer where there is uh, more slope. You can also uh, nest uh, different meshes very easily. And that's what you can see here. I nested uh, a, a simple coarse mesh uh, for the general domain with a very like a much finer mesh on the uh, delta where we uh, likely want better information, more resoluted information. And that's also something that's very easy to do. We could even imagine uh, nesting several, uh, several other uh, fine resolution areas, such as, for instance, the, 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 um, oh, I forget the name. Uh, we, we can talk about it later anyway. So, uh, an example of application here that shows the improvement that was uh, allowed by using this tool was that now we can run a model that actually includes both regions of the Terrebonne and the Atchafalaya and Wax Lake Deltas while keeping high resolution where there needs to be high resolution. Actually, the resolution around the delta here is 10 meters because it's something that's uh, required by the morphodynamic models to be to be run efficiently. And you can see that, uh, yeah, it, it works. So that's it for me. If you have any questions, feel free to, to ask.